So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to another video in which we're going to be discussing about animated.value as promised in the last one. So animated.value, what it is and how it is different from a regular number. Let's see. So to understand why it is not a regular number, you have to understand that the way React works, that the way you need to animate a component is you need to take a particular value, for example, just like I said, uh, 0, 0, 2, let's say 100, 100, it would be easier. Then what you want to do is you essentially want to move the component from 0, 0 to probably 1, 1, then probably 2, 2, then probably 3, 3, and so on and so forth, right? All the way up to 100, 100, 100. So the deal is, that when you do something like this, it takes time, right? So the more number of points you move the object, for example, if going from 0 to 100, 100, 0, 0 to 100, 100, if you have 100 points in between, it would be smooth. If you have 1,000 points in between, right, it would be even smoother. So the more the number of points you have, in the um, initial and final num final points, the smoother the animation would be. And 60 FPS means that basically your animation, your screen would refresh for about 60 frames per second. So basically that means that you can update your screen 60 times one second. So if your animation, for example, if you want this thing to happen in one second, so if we do the math a little and you want 60 frames per second, that means that you have essentially 60 frames to move from this point to that point. So you have basically 60 coordinates inclusive 0, 0 and 100, 100, which you want the ball, this particular ball to cover. All right, coming to why animated value is needed, you see that 60 by 60 frames per second means if you use a regular number you're gonna re-render your component again and again and again 60 times right react reconciler is going to run 60 times and then it's going to render the component tree um, it's probably going to dispatch that to the native operating system and this is expensive operation react render is expensive to do when you're doing it so many number of times Right? So this is why you do not really have a regular number here and you set state or you know update some sort of modify the state and make use of set timeouts and set intervals yourself for the animation part. What animated.value allow you to do is it allows you to create a mutable uh, value which is further modified within the memory by React itself um, using certain components. So in a nutshell, animated.value actually is an escape hatch from React's mechanism of rendering components and keeping everything in the state, in the in the in the React virtual DOM state, right? So animated.value would actually allow React to make changes to the screen without actually rendering, without actually re-rendering the component. This is the reason we use animated.value and not just a regular simple value and update it with set intervals or set timeouts. I hope this had made um, a bit of sense, but if not, then don't worry. We'll see how this all works when we actually write some code and see how this is all going on on the screen. So that's all for the explanation part. This is mostly the same for animated.value xy as well, which we used in the hello world. It's just that animated.value xy uh, makes use of two coordinate system and animate.value is just a single value you can animate. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.